this is a sad video for me to post but i guess it's the reality of homesteading um so this video is going to be a little bit Hey guys, it's Susie, the organized farm gal. I hope you're all doing really well. This is a sad video for me to post, but I guess it's the reality of homesteading. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit It's going to be a little bit hard for me. for me to record. We've dealt with a little bit of loss on the farm. Um, so we actually had a bit of an incident uh, with our mini Anna. Um, she broke through the fence and unfortunately she's shown sort of since she got here that she really uh, doesn't tolerate um, really anything smaller than her um, in terms of other livestock or pets. So we did have an incident where she uh, broke through some of the internal fencing and attacked one of the lambs. Um, now, unfortunately, he did not survive that. Which in itself is sad um, because we lost his mother on Boxing Day. Um, and that was really the first loss that we experienced. Uh, but just in just in knowing uh, her and what our plans for the farm are, and the fact that we have two small dogs, um, we have made the decision to sell. The other really hard decision that's taken probably a couple of months to get to is in relation to Darcy. Darcy's had some digestion problems for a while now. Um, and despite the amount of food that he's been given, he's actually not, he's not able to put on any condition and he's not maintaining his condition, which is not great. So uh, that's really hard. He's getting on a bit now. He's an old horse. Um, his condition means that he can't be ridden. Uh, so he, he's in a heavily grass paddock. He's being fed twice a day costing quite a lot of money to, to keep him so we have to make that call unfortunately and just because life is pretty unfair and seems to always deal these things in threes Tim appears to have a really bad chest infection so he's gonna need some antibiotics to hopefully come through Okay, so I'm a little bit more composed now. Um, sorry about that. It's kind of like the first time that I've been out here by myself to really reflect on what's happened and what kind of decisions we have to make. And I guess my question to you at this point is, how do you deal with loss on your homestead? I guess I'm just not that kind of person that can remain emotionally detached. Uh, maybe in time with the sheep a little bit differently because I mean we are supposed to be breeding meat sheep but the horses probably never probably never to be honest the other phenomenally crap thing that is happening is we don't have one but three goannas that have decided to make our homestead their homestead um, and they're essentially robbing all of the eggs the girls were laying probably about a dozen. We got a little bit of a slowdown with the heat because it's been quite hot here. Um, but then all of a sudden we started turning up and there was less, less, less. And now every day we turn up there all hard. Now the 
her chickens are behind electrified fence and apart from making it smaller the fence is connected to a car battery so I just can't figure it out but uh, Will will have some good ideas to implement in the next week or two to see if uh, there's not something that we can do because I just have a funny feeling that whilst we're talking about loss uh, we lost a couple of our girls there has been some bits and pieces found around the place which is really not pleasant and whilst they're chickens they're still the battery hens especially they're just lovely old girls and just want them to have a peaceful retirement here so going out at Gowanaway is um, not really how I wanted them to go out so yeah Sheep fed for today. They're all coming already. Hello, girls. To that. I've had to do a lot of reflection this week on loss and what that means. Uh, after an inconvenient loss of chicken eggs, I uh, sort of avalanched into a lot of loss all in one go. Some of that loss is necessary, some of that loss is circumstantial, some of that loss accidental but all of the loss is in varying degrees quite heartbreaking to deal with. This video uh, really is about me just kind of reflecting on what that loss means to me. Um, because it just means a little bit of parting and I just How do you deal with loss on your homestead? Is it easy to compartmentalise? I guess the biggest question that I wanted to ask is does it get easier? Does it get any easier? I hope it does. Uh, I really hope it does. 